Now that we're done with the birdhouse, let's get started on the toolbox. I need to make a side piece, a front and back piece, a bottom piece, and a handle. Let's make our side first. I want that to be the full extent that it can be, which is 16 inches in length by five and a half inches in width. We're gonna be using the same board that we used for the birdhouse. Um, so that's a one by six, which is again, actually a three fourths of an inch by five and a half inches. With that, our side piece is done and we can move on to our front and back piece. I'm gonna label that as a front piece Start with a sketch on the front plane. I am going to make the overall dimensions five and a half by nine inches. That is the tallest that you can make your toolbox. Whoops. We'll restore that sketch. Um, I'm going to go back into it just so you can visualize what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some chamfers after I extrude it. And it will end up looking like the, a, a typical toolbox that you might look, that you might see. So now we're going to extrude this. Again, three fourths of an inch. And now we're going to do some chamfers. That's our chamfer feature. And we are going to do two distances. The first distance is going to be one and three fourths of an inch. The second distance is going to be three inches. And that will leave six inches down here, which is what our five and a half inch piece will made up into. And the reason I have to do this chamfer twice is because if I did it once and then clicked on both sides, then it will um, rotationally transfer the chamfer instead of doing it um, symmetrically. See, so we're gonna have to flip it. So instead of 1.75, we're gonna have three inches to be the first distance and 1.75 is our second distance. And now it's a symmetrical front piece. We need to make a hole in there now. So I'm going to sketch here, and I'm going to add a point. I am going to project all of my geometry, and now I'm going to constrain the point from the side, which will be half of five and a half, so five and a half divided by two. Then I'm going to dimension it from the top. And this is up to you. Um, I like two and a half. I like where that sits. Um, so that's how we're going to do it. And then the hole, I'm going to click on my sketch point. And the hole that we're going to use, the dowel rod that we're going to use is three fourths of an inch. So again, we're going to make the hole three fourths of an inch. And that is what our dowel rod is going to slide into. And then our front toolbox is done. You know what? I'm going to change this. We'll see what two inches looks like. Yeah, I think I like that better. So we're gonna call the front of the toolbox done. Let's make our bottom piece. And that is going to be just another rectangle. Instead of it being the full 14 and a half, we're going to make it three-fourths of an inch on both sides less. So that will be 14.5 by five and a half. Then we will extrude that 0.75 inches and we are done with our bottom piece. Now let's move on to the handle. 
Now the handle is just a circle extruded the length of our toolbox. So that will be a 3 fourths inch circle extruded 16 inches. Do a circle. That is 3 fourths. And then we are extruding 16 inches. And those are all of our pieces. Now we can create our assembly. And we're going to have to do the same thing that we had to do for the birdhouse as we are inserting pieces. We're going to have to create versions for them. Create a version, we'll call that version 1. And we are going to put in two of those. And then we're going to put in the front piece, create it, the front piece, and then we'll need another one for the back piece. Then we'll need the bottom piece too. That one's going to be just a little bit shorter. We only need one of those. And then our handle. We've done all of our inserting. I'm not going to worry about the orientation of anything this time around. I'm going to set a grounded piece, a fixed piece, and then I'm going to do everything off of that. I'm going to just do one mate with our bottom piece. And then we're going to flush it all along the bottom. I'm going to repick my points there. And then I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to worry about constraining it forward and back. I'm going to let the front piece and the back piece do that for me. I'm going to constrain the side of our front piece and glue it to the side of our side of that piece. We are going to click on that again and we are going to change that around. And now I want to flush the bottoms together. Now I get to glue the inside of our front piece with the front of our bottom piece. And then I get to align everything along the front. That is flushed, aligned. And now our bottom has scooted into place. We have three more pieces. We're going to go through the same motions. I'm going to do the flush first. And then along the bottom as well. On shape is a little bit finicky on what we can select at what time. Now let's line up our back piece so that it's glued into place with our side piece with a oops we'll need to rotate that around 
We'll make the side piece with the side of our back piece. Now that is locked in place. We have two more pieces. Now this one I can um, just make the side and it doesn't matter which side I pick of the side piece, the forward facing or the back facing, since I can just flip it around. Now I line up the front facing edge with the front and then the bottoms all together. The last thing we're going to do is this circular constraint. Now with the handle we're going to add a different constraint. We're going to use a slider mate instead of a planar mate since we're dealing with a curved surface instead. So we're going to hit the outside curved surface of our handle and then we're going to make sure we hit the point of our hole. And then that will allow us to have a, have a slider mate. And then we will finish it off with a planar mate, making sure that we hit the front of our dowel rod with the front of our front piece. And then we are done. None of the pieces move. We are fully constrained. And that took less than 10 minutes. So design however you want. Um, Take what you drew in class on the first two weeks and revise it if you want, if you wanted to, and put it on the computer. I look forward to seeing all of your submissions.